أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى على آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you and welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. Today is the first program for the month of Rabi'a Thani. So we are in the second half of the period of Rabi'a, Rabi'a Awal, and now Rabi'a Thani, the time of commemorating and celebrating the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I want today to share with you this beautiful teaching from the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him, from one of his hadith where he teaches us something very important. One day, one of the Sahabas, one of his companions came to him and uh, this person was in his old age uh, and he wanted to do something good. He said he had a warehouse of dates and he want, want to, wanted to leave this with the Prophet وسلم, so that the Prophet can distribute it to the people after this person passes away. And shortly thereafter, the person passed away. And then the Prophet asked some of his companions, helpers, to go and distribute this warehouse, warehouse of dates to the people of Medina. So they did that. And after they finished distributing everything, they came to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they told him that they had distributed the dates in the warehouse. So the Prophet went himself to the warehouse now. He said he wanted to check to ensure that all the dates uh, were distributed uh, because this was an amana, a trust that was given to him and he had taken from this person to distribute all the dates after the person had died. And so he went searching in a warehouse and he found just one small date and it was almost rotting, this one date. And he told the Muslims, uh, he, he showed them this one small date that was almost rotting and he said that if the person, if this person had distributed this one date when he was alive, while he was alive, before he died, he would have received more blessings than if he had distributed than the entire warehouse of dates that he distributed. Uh, what amazing teaching with great lessons for us from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Among the lessons that the scholars have mentioned from this hadith or sacred statement of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is that we should hasten to do good deeds. As soon as we're able to do it, whenever we're able to do it, don't hesitate to do a good deed that you're able to do. Don't put off the doing of a good deed for some other time in the future because you do not know 
uh, what will happen. And uh, so the prophet says, if he had done this deed while he was alive, even just one day he had distributed, he would have received more rewards, more blessings than that entire warehouse of day that he distributed or he uh, instructed to be distributed after he passed away. And so one of the examples would be sadaqa or charity, the charity that you give, that you should strive to do it as soon as you're able to. Uh, don't wait uh, for after you pass away and then instruct your children or others to distribute your wealth. Uh, you don't know what will happen then. But if you can do it while you are alive, uh, you are investing in your well-being in the hereafter. So hasten to do good deeds, any good deed that you can do. Uh, the, it's an opportunity and a blessing from God Almighty that you're able to do good deeds. Therefore, strive to do that. Strive to help someone. Strive to touch the life of a person in some good way by doing something good for them. And so this hadith I wanted to share with you today from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where he's teaching us how to respond. The other thing that the Prophet said also is that in another hadith he says, إِذَا مَاتِ إِبْنَ آدَمْ إِنْ قَطَعَتْ عَمَلَهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثٍ That when anyone dies, when any of the children of Prophet Adam, meaning all of humanity, when any one of us die, all our actions cease. In other words, we cannot do anything for ourselves. But he said that uh, there are things that we can do while we are alive that will continue to bless us. Uh, after we pass away. But once we, we die, we leave this world, we are not able to do anything for ourselves because we, we are buried and then we return back to God Almighty for accountability and reckoning. So strive to do as much as we can do while we are alive. Uh, I wanted to share this beautiful hadith today with you so that we can all learn the beautiful lessons that the Prophet Muhammad is teaching us and try to implement that in our lives. I want to remind you also of the ongoing salawat project for you to recite salawat every day after each salah and in between when you have some free time, continue to recite salawat upon the Prophet Sallallahu to say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbi wa sallam. And we have this, this book, Blessings of Salawat, that I want to recommend for you to get. You can contact the Islamic Forum and order this book so that you can go through this small book and learn so many of the beautiful virtues and blessings of Salawat to recite on the Prophet Sallallahu so you can participate in this project. We have, we have had uh, pledges of millions of Salawat so far, and we have continued to do this. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. Amen. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, it was the day I was born. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them as if I was their companion. Allah 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have been in Canada for one year and have been met a lot of good scholars and members of the parliament and I just amused here the diversity from all over the world, a lot of faith and a lot of beliefs but altogether it is very important. Islam is a peace because of this the other religious also advise pieces for us. And I would like to thank you for Brother Sheikh Faisal. He invited me here. Very good night. I would like to thank you for all members of the Islamic Forum of Canada. For Ustad Sheikh Faisal, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I want to remind you once again of the time of the broadcast of our TV program. It's uh, every Sunday morning at 6.30 a.m. on the same channel, Yes TV Channel 9. I want to request you to tell your family members, relatives, and friends about the time of the broadcast of the program so that they can be able to view the program and benefit from it, inshallah. Uh, we recommend that you get up for Fajr Sunday morning at 6 a.m. and then you can look at the program program and then you can have breakfast with your family and uh, tell others to do the same that they can get up Sunday morning for Fajr, pre Fajr 6 a.m. and then look at the program. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Today I want to share this wonderful appeal with you the, for our new masjid fundraising appeal and then for existing location at 200 Advanced Boulevard in Brampton. Uh, we are in the process of changing our carpet to get new carpets and replace the old ones that have served us very well for many years and so today uh, we want to invite you to sponsor one block of $100 and then join the monthly pledge so that uh, you can make this ongoing donation every month at Islamic Forum. We request you and recommend that you pledge $100 uh, for your monthly pledge to donate inshallah. Remember the hadith that I mentioned in the previous segment uh, where the Prophet says that when anyone dies all their actions ceases except for three things one of them being sadaqa jariya uh, and and so the carpet for the the masjid is a, a wonderful opportunity for you to do sadaqa jariya this recurring charity because uh, every week uh, thousands of people are praying uh, in, in our masjid and you would share in that blessing every time someone makes such a prostration on on the new carpet you would get a blessing so an opportunity for you to contribute today you can uh, call the Islamic Forum or email us uh, or go online to islamformonline.com to the donation page and make your donations inshallah. We want to thank all those who contributed to the success of our recent program. We had our annual Maulid and Nabi dinner recently at Islamic Forum. We, first of all, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the great blessings for that successful program. And then we thank all the organizers, the IFC family, all the volunteers and sponsors and donors and supporters, all those who attended and we had uh, several 
several important dignitaries that were part of the program. We thank all of them for coming out. It was wonderful meeting many of you uh, who came out to the Islamic Forum for our annual Maulid de Rasul uh, dinner, inshallah. And we hope you can continue to come to the Islamic Forum, inshallah. We also had the birthday celebration of Sidi Ismail Khan at Islamic Forum. Uh, we want to make the offer him, wish him happy birthday. And also, young Aliya, the daughter of uh, Brother Zakran and Sister Abida, her birthday recently, did we observe at Islam Forum, we make uh, dua for, for her as well, and for all those who observed their birthday, birthday recently at Islamic Forum. And I want to uh, remind you that you can uh, observe your anniversaries at Islamic Forum in a wonderful spiritual way, uh, whether it's your wedding anniversary, death anniversary for parents and family members and loved ones, Akika, and so on, that you can do, inshallah, at the Islamic Forum. All our ongoing programs continue at the Islamic Forum. Uh, Friday, Jum'ah, Friday evening, the Quranic Arabic classes for adults, Saturday Islamic School, Saturday Maulid, this TV program every Sunday morning, the Thursday Youth Halakha, special Halakha for youth every uh, Thursday. All those programs continue. Uh, upcoming program, the Sacred Knowledge Seminar, Sunday, January the 19, 2020, from 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. at Islamic Forum. You can register now our Umrah package in December. You can register if you like to go at the end of this month for Umrah. And then Hajj 2020, we've t we're taking registration now for you to join us for Hajj, inshallah. May Allah SWT bless each and every one of you. Amen. عز النصير ولم أجد إلا كعونا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O oh, you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumu'ah, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Manender Sidhu, as Sheikh Faisal was just saying. I'm the newly elected MP for Brampton East. Um, I want to take a moment to uh, thank uh, Sheikh Faisal and the congregation for your support. Um, you know, I, I've been here a few times, and, and you guys welcomed me with open arms. Uh, a lot of the brothers and sisters here came out to door knock with us, put up signs, make phone calls, vote. So thank you to the congregation and Sheikh Faisal. Um, I also want to thank you guys for inviting me here to commemorate Prophet Muhammad's birthday. Um, so it shows uh, the, the uh, community in Brampton is united. Uh, of course, we're, we're very diverse, and I look forward to working with all of you here today. You guys are all welcome in my office anytime if you need any assistance. Uh, please feel free to call me at any time. I'm here at your service. Thank you so much.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I also today want to thank the government of Gambia for a wonderful initiative they took recently. Gambia is a small country in West Africa and they filed a, a case in the International Court of Justice uh, against the government of Burma because of the genocide they committed against uh, the Rohingya people in Burma. Uh, and this is a wonderful initiative uh, to, to fight for justice uh, for people wherever they are. And uh, this is one of the great teachings of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that uh, we should ensure that uh, humanity, human beings wherever they are, uh, would live uh, in a state of justice, would be treated in a fair way and would be free from oppression and tyranny and persecution. And so I wanted to thank the Gambian government for that step that it took. Uh, regarding the Salawat project, and remember today the, the theme of our program is to hasten to do good deeds while you are alive. Don't wait for when you pass away and then you expect others to do good deeds on your behalf. It may not happen. Uh, so the Prophet uh, the Prophet Muhammad reminds us about this. And one of the wonderful things you can do now, and especially at this time of the year, the the time of Rabia in the month of Rabi Awal and Rabi Thani, we are now in Rabi Thani, to recite salawat or to invoke blessings on the Prophet وسلم, to recite Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbi wa sallim. There is a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, one of his uh, sacred statements, uh, which is reported by Imam an Nasai in his collection of hadith in the Sunan an Nasai. He's, the Prophet said, Awla nasi bi yawm al aktharuhum alayya salatan. The closest of people to me, the nearest of people to me on the day of judgment are those who are most frequent in reciting salawat upon me. Awla nasi bi yawm al aktharuhum alayya salatan. So, this is a way for you to get closer to the Prophet, not only in the akhir, but in the dunya as well, in this world as well as in the hereafter, to recite salawat as much as you can. And so, I want to request you once again to continue to participate in the salawat project if you've started, or to do so now. It's not too late. We have the entire month of Rabi Thani that we will continue with this project of salawat to recite it upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so I want to uh, remind you to do this uh, after every salah, spend a few minutes, recite a hundred salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You have some time uh, today after this uh, television program, recite salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Encourage your family and others to do likewise. And Great are the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you to recite salawat upon his most beloved, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Amen. This dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please donate generously. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I want to take this opportunity to thank all those who donated to the Islamic Forum recently and to make a special appeal to you to make a donation today, a generous donation to the Islamic Forum of Canada, uh, your one-time donation today, and then to join the monthly pledge so that you can donate something every month to the Islamic Forum. Remember, our special appeal that we are doing now is for the new carpets for our masjid located at 200 Advanced Boulevard. We hope you can donate, donate generously to this wonderful project, uh, Sadaqa Jariya for you, a recurring charity that you will continue to benefit from, inshallah. And also, you can do this on behalf of uh, your parents, especially if they've passed away. They Remember, they cannot do anything for themselves, but you can do something that would benefit them, inshallah. And the other loved ones in your family, uh, relatives, friends that have passed away, you can make your need to do something on their behalf to make this generous donation to the and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. I want to recognize some of the names of the brothers and sisters and families that have donated recently. Brother Kamran Bhatti, Muhammad Walid, Yusuf Batista, Batista Saleh Khan, Saleh Chowdhury, Shaliza Yaqub, Bibi Taylor, Shahnaz Anwar, Arshad Khan, Zulfika Ghani, Dr. Muhammad Naveed, uh, Patrick Wilson, Khatul bin Zamanuddin, Hina Siddiq, Susan Al Wahabi, Ihab Shahab, Bibi Yaqub, Ismail Khan, Ihab uh, Shahab, Shazi Awan, Asif Bhatt, Nadim Asif, Faisal Tahir, Susan Al Wahabi, uh, uh, and uh, Abdi Jabbar Umar, uh, Rani Rahman, uh, Abrar Mufti, Adil Iqbal, Ali Rafiq. These are some of the brothers and sisters, families that have donated Islamic form recently. I want to thank all of them. Uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for your support of the Islamic form. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.